Okay, so in a previous video, um, Alexandria had shown you how to um, add a Turnitin assignment to your Moodle course page. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you another cool feature that we can do with Turnitin, which is integrating a rubric um, for an assignment into Turnitin. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to pull up um, one of my Moodle course pages, and we're going go to go to a Turnitin assignment. Um, so this is a Turnitin assignment that I just put on there. Um, you could also do this um, integrating your rubric while you're creating the Turnitin assignment, um, but you can always create the Turnitin assignment and then come back and put your rubric in later. All right, so I'm going to um, open up my Turnitin, and you'll see right here this little icon um, this is going to launch your rubric manager. So right now I do not have a rubric associated with Turnitin. So I'm going to launch it. <clears throat> um, and here it's just going to put in sort of a generic um, rubric um, that is its default. Um, to change this rubric, you're going to click. You can either do create new rubric um, or you can select from a rubric that you might already have up. Um, so I already have a rubric for this one. Um, it is the literature review rubric that I use um, for this paper. So I can click on that and then it comes up. Um, if you don't have a rubric already um, saved into your rubric manager, again, you can always do create new. Um, or go to, sorry, create new rubric, yes, right? So here's your rubric, um, you can have your criteria, um, you can do percentages or points um, associated. So here it's got percentage, here you do a custom rubric, enter any value you like. So let's say like this is excellent, fair, needs improvement, okay? Um, the criteria one might be your hypothesis, right? Um, an excellent hypothesis may be 10 points, a fair hypothesis may be 7, needs improvement may be 5, however way you want to do it. Um, you can also put in um, descriptors here um, to sort of um, give the justification for what is an excellent hypothesis, what is a fair hypothesis, so on and so forth, okay? Um, once you do that, um, then you can save your rubric. Um, it's not letting me save it yet because I don't have everything filled in. Um, and then um, you can add this to your assignment. Um, like I said, I already had one um, created for my assignment. Um, so I'm just gonna pull that one up. Okay, um, and you can sort of see how I did my point distribution um, and the various things that I am grading. All right, um, once I have that done, I'm going to select close, and the rubric is now put into my assignment. Once students start um, submitting things, I can then click here to grade. Um, it will, okay. All right, so um, here's an example of a paper that was submitted that I already graded um, in a previous class. But when you um, first click on the student's paper, it's going to pull up your Feedback Studio. Um, and there's a couple cool things you can do on the Feedback Studio. Um, if you click anywhere on the paper, you can put in comments. Um, right now, I've already submitted the grade for this paper. Um, this is a class from a few years ago. Um, so it's not going to let me interact too much, but I just want to show you this. So um, to grade with your rubric, you're just going to click this little thing and then the rubric comes up. Um, it's a sliding scale based on your criteria um, and you can set to um, whatever score you think that this section of the paper is merited. Um, it will also tell you what you put in to the descriptor for each of the criteria at each grade level. Um, exceed standards, meet standards, so on and so forth. So you can read through that. All right, what did I say met standards for the introduction? Um, and I would read that part, all right, um, to help me sort of calibrate myself on the rubric. Um, you can also put in um, uh, voice comments, text comments. You can click anywhere on the paper to add comments. 
Um, you can do quick marks um, and you can add to the quick marks. Um, so if there's a comment that you keep putting on students paper over and over again, maybe you want to make that a quick mark so um, that you can sort of get through and grade a little faster. Okay. Um, so that's, again, just an example of how you can incorporate rubrics into um, your Moodle uh, Turnitin links um, and grade right there in Moodle. The students will also be able to see um, where they scored on the rubric once you submit the grades um, and the grades are posted. And they also will be able to see all of your comments, um, both in the text comments, the in-paper comments, and then voice comments if that's easier for you. Um, and then as you're scoring through the ru rubric, um, it's not going to do it here because the grade's already been put in, um, but as you, you know, adjust the grading, you say apply to grade and see it automatically totals everything up for you on the top, um, and then that's the grade that will show up in the grade book. All right, really uh, kind of a fun tool um, if you need help. Um, getting your rubric in, um, just shoot me an email um, and we can do a Zoom meeting and see if we can get it fixed for you. Okay, um, I'll see you in the next video, all right?